Hi everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about the drama exam and what to expect. Um, it's really quite handy that they give us very clear specifications about what's going to be in the drama exam. So you know exactly what to study for and you can prepare really well. And if you want to go for excellence, there's no reason why you shouldn't get it if you're well prepared. Now, the specifications tell us that candidates will be required to do write about two things. The first thing they have to write about is about a live drama performance that they've participated in as an actor. Now, this could be any of the things that you've done during the year. This could be um, your Anne Frank. This could also be physical theatre or the performance that you do um, next term. They want you to describe and explain. Now, this is kind of, these are two words you need to, to think about quite carefully because describe just really means say what it is. Explain is, being, is about writing in more detail. And they want you to write about drama techniques that you've used to communicate a goal in your performance. So um, if you recall, at the beginning of the year, we actually looked at drama techniques and you would then look quite closely at some part of your performance and discuss how you use them to communicate a goal. Now, I would assume that a goal means, well, take a goal to mean that it's something that you want to achieve in your performance. Maybe you wanted to show something about the character. Maybe you wanted to show something about a relationship. And then you'd be looking at the drama techniques you do use to do that. The second thing they want you to do is write about a live drama performance that you have viewed as a member of the audience. Now, that would be um, either the, the physical theatre show that we saw earlier in the year, the Dust Pilgrim, or you could write about the performance that we saw the other evening, the events. Once again, they ask you to describe and explain, but they want you to talk about two things. The conflict experienced by a character. So I would be talking about Claire and the conflict that she had personally um, dealing with coming to terms with what had occurred. And the other thing they ask you to talk about is a use of set to reflect time and or place in the performance scene. And they also ask you to do a little um, diagram of the set. Now that's probably going to be the most difficult part of the exam because in both performances we saw, the set wasn't significant. And it means that you're going to have to think quite deeply about the set that was there. Let's look at drama techniques just so you just so you can remember what they are. When we're talking about drama techniques, we're talking about the use of your voice, the use of movement, the use of space, and the use of your body. So it's a good idea for you to study for the exam these words pitch, pace, pause, projection volume, tone, accent, breathing. If you talk about those sorts of things and use those sorts of words, you can be expecting to get quite a good grade because it shows that you have quite a depth of understanding. The same would go for movement, space, and body. So I've actually given you one of these. So I would suggest you go back to it and you spend some time looking at it and then relating it to your performance. Right, continuing on, this is the first part of the exam where you're going to be writing about your performance. There norm there's usually a few parts to this question, um, and you're most likely to be asked something like this, to name your character and then briefly describe this character. Now, just briefly describing the character is usually what you're going to be doing to get a uh, achieve. Um, I would be looking at describing it, your character in terms of their age, possibly something about their personality, and also possibly their role in the play, and their, and their relationship, if you like, with other characters. The next thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to describe a goal that you wanted to achieve in this performance. Now, the goals that you want to achieve in this performance could be varied. Um, you may want to communicate to the audience something about the character such as it's how the character might have 
um, experienced hurt during this event or how the character might have changed and developed and grown as a person or how this character's relationship with someone else might have changed. It's really for you to think about and there were numerous goals that you can think about um, but you probably need to choose one or possibly two to, to reflect on. And then what you need to do is think about what the goal is and then how you went about trying to convey it. And that's the next part of the question. From the box below, choose at least two drama techniques you use in your performance to communicate this goal. Now I'm saying two, it may be that you only get one, or it may be that they want you to choose all four. Um, it's hard for me to say, I don't know. So for the purpose of your exam, let's say you choose two um, for the mocks. So this is where you're really going to be going for your excellence and where you really need to talk with some or um, explain with some depth and have really good examples you need to be quite specific and I will show in a mo show you in a moment um, a marking schedule so you can see the difference between getting a, an achieve to a merit um, and it'll be it'll be broken up a bit like this have a look explain how you use these techniques sorry that should say techniques to achieve your goal in your answer, you should give specific examples from the performance, such as how you skillfully, skillfully use these techniques in key moments, maybe change the way you use these techniques, just make that new. and use the techniques to show how you felt about a particular person or event. So I would, if you decide that your goal is to try and get the audience to feel sympathy and understand um, and as a character, then I would be thinking about what key techniques I might have done that and I'd go back and have a look firstly at how did I use my face, my facial expression for example, what did I do, um, where did I focus, when did I do it, what did I say when I did that. So you need to be very specific um, and it all needs to be very relevant. Now I'm going to show you a marking schedule so you get an idea of the difference between an achieve, a merit and an excellence. Okay, here's a marking schedule for a previous exam um, and it was for use of drama techniques which is why I've chosen it. The question was slightly different because they were looking at drama techniques in, in a particular situation or key moment. Um, so as you can see there were three parts to this question. Now, if you're wanting to get an achieve, and we've got two grades for achieve, you generally would describe maybe um, this is a situation, but I'd be expecting you to have a, a rough general idea of what your goal is, and then make a link between how you use the techniques to achieve the goal. So, for example, um, I used uh, I used um, a very uh, wooden walking style with not I was very inflexible um, to show the audience how um, unhappy I was for example it's not a good example but but there, there you have it so that's going to be a possible a very sort of low achieve and then when you get to a higher achieve you do the same thing um, or now this is where we're getting to be, be a little bit more deep. Explain, have a look here. Explains why the use of these techniques were appropriate. So this is where you need to begin to answer the question: Why is it appropriate? Why was it a good choice? Why did it work? Now, when you get to a merit, you see here it describes with detail or an example of a situation involving a character. So this is where you're talking about the goal that you're going to be describing. Your goal needs to be quite clear and have quite a lot of detail. Okay, so if you're just going to write a very simple goal, you're not going to be moving into the merit. And then they have a choice. They could either make a link with some detail between the use of techniques and the situation, or explain in detail why the use of these techniques was appropriate. And then when we're going up to excellence, excellence is describes with detail 
or an example, a situation involving a character. Now you'll see that that's not that different from, it's the same as the merit. So those first questions are really basically up to kind of merit standard. You're not going to be able to get excellence for those first questions. And then makes a link with detail between the use of techniques and the situation the character was in, or explains in detail with examples. Now you here see the difference here? What you've got is with examples. Why the use of these techniques was appropriate. And this one, you do it all. You make your links and you explain in detail with examples. So that gives you an idea of where you're aiming for. And I would hope that most of you are sitting around and hope, hoping for an excellence for this question. Because there's no reason why you can't get it if you're well prepared. Okay, so let's just look at the first part of the, go back to this. Um, if naming a character, you would write down Anne Frank, and I would expect you to be able to say, um, play, well, the playwright, um, who the playwright was, and um, that's probably about it. Then describing the character, you'd have to say, the character's name was Anne, um, she, you know, her nationality, her, her age, the type of girl she was, she was intelligent, just give an overview of her. Now, this is the part that um, where I'm aiming to go for excellence. And this is where I'm going to describe a goal that I wanted to achieve in the performance. And I need to do it, it says here, describes in detail. Okay? So, here's a detailed goal. I wanted to convey, or they mean show, the difficulties Anne faced having to grow up so fast and behave like an adult when she was still very much a child. Now, if you were going just saying that, then I'd be expecting you to possibly get, you know, get an achieve for it. However, if we wanted to really go deeper, I'm going to talk a little bit more about my goal. My aim was to show her physically as a young child accustomed to having a lot of space to play. Um, to a child, so I think I should say sorry, to become a child who has to operate in much less space and slow her movement down and be more in control of her expression. And I might say here because of her, because of her dangerous circumstances. So you'll see here that I'm actually beginning to almost to make reference to the sort of techniques I'm going to be talking about. I'm actually going to be talking about space, her use of space, and her use of movement. Um, because those are the two techniques that are obviously really key in me achieving my goal. Later, when you have to do the next part of the question, this is where you're going to be describing and explaining in detail your goal and the techniques you used. Here's a bit of an example that um, I've done. And it's not a full example, because so I think you could still write more. But um, this is what I've said. I wanted to show strong contrast for the beginning to the end in the way Anne moved and used space. I wanted to make the audience understand how terrible her circumstances were and how hard it was for a child to have to grow up so soon in such awful circumstances. By seeing the audience change, the physical change in Anne, my goal would be clear to the audience. When Anne first runs into their hiding place, I ran lightly and swung my arms around freely. At the same time, I moved in a wide circle around the room. I'm talking about space. I did this to show how unaware Anne is of the tight boundaries that she's going to have to live and move in. Now this is me explaining my movement. Oops, that's not looking good. I pushed my focus out across the audience as I wanted them to be aware of Anne's freedom and her inability to understand the seriousness of their situation. Then I flung myself down on the floor and I continued to develop it. Then I would go later when and I would talk about what what occurred later, how I behaved, what was different later and why I did that. Looks like I'm going to have to go now as I'm running out of battery. So um, have a look at what you've had to say and hopefully you can start thinking about your first part of the question.